it's about then you can have the film about something else yes because it's not really yes. about that well did you like uh, event horizon yeah i did actually i thought that it's was fun, quite right? a cool film yeah it's ridiculous i've seen it for years fun. Yeah. i always wanted to ask about their their concept of propulsion that you that almost like space would be flat and you would fold space over and you would intersect those two points and you would be able to travel vast distances instantaneously mm. right I'm, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining i'm sure but is that a concept that people have actually considered yeah you can in in general relativity so so einstein's i should say what it is einstein's theory of general relativity is our best theory of space and time and so it really is as we talked about before it's you imagine space and time as a sheet just imagine it as a thing a sort of a, a, literally a sheet surface and all the theory says is that if you put matter and or energy into that then it curves it and distorts it and it can stretch it and make it shrink and so it's the response of space and time to matter and energy so if you if you the, the simplest version would be the the sun so you put the, a big spherical ball of stuff in there and it, it warp space and time such that the the nice straight lines something just traveling minding its own business through that warp space turns into an orbit and that's why you can actually kind of see things that are behind the sun yeah okay so light bends around the sun yeah. um, because it's just traveling through the curved space the earth goes around the sun because it's just rolling minding its own business through the curved space so um an example would be you might say, well, how does curved space, how, how does, can that give rise to something that looks like a force, which is gravity? So the best analogy I know of is to think of walking around on the surface of the Earth. So if you stand on the equator of the Earth and you, you with your friend and you, you say, we're going to walk due north. So we're going to set off, let's say we're a thousand miles apart on the equator and we're going to walk due north. So what's going to happen? So you walk in straight lines. You don't change direction. You don't do any accelerating. But the straight lines are the lines of longitude on the surface of the earth so as you go further and further north you get closer and closer together and if you carry on to the pole you bump into each other mm. but nothing's happened right? no one's no one, there's no forces acting it's just that you're moving on a curved surface and so you get closer and that's basically einstein's theory of general relativity now why did i start talking about that? event horizon the idea uh, of uh, folding. oh yeah so so you can so all you have to do to so those folded kind of geometries is you have to try and specify how, where you would put the matter and what kind of stuff you'd put there to make the geometry fold in that way. And you can do, you can do it. So you can, you can write down that geometry. So it's called a, a warp drive geometry, I think it's called. It's in textbooks. So you can do that to, to have a warp.